Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about the, the construction of knowledge and I will start by saying that there are two types of knowledge construction. One of them is social and the other one is individual. And even in psychology we differentiate between two approaches to the, 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 const the problem of construction of knowledge. One of them is called the, the social learning theory and the other one is is concerned with the cognitive development and that is represented by Geneva School. And I'm going to explain both concepts and I will start uh, with the social learning theory which is more concerned with interaction between people, between learners and progress even though it's a problematic matter to decide how and what is progress and what is not. But just to explain it, I will just refer to some of the, the, the tasks we were asked to do at, at school, for instance, at even like you know elementary grades, we were asked to draw a river. And for instance, personally, I used to draw a fish as well, and whenever I, I drew a river. For, for, and I, I was criticized for that like all of the others because the, the criteria for, for on, on which our teachers uh, depended was to was logic actually it was to teach us about the, the concept of size that like you know your fish is too too big in comparison with the size of the river and some other concepts like you know we cannot see a fish while it's swimming and but for for us and for most of us like you know it was not like this in, in the beginning like for instance when they ask it to 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 draw some figures for instance we used to draw that the headmaster like you know bigger than any of the, the, the other teachers because we we could see that he is more or she is more powerful but teachers didn't accept this they wanted to show a teacher as big as a headmaster like, no. So they, they wanted us to adopt some social norms, like, you know, and they were always models to follow and, and strategies to adopt. Like, you know, they, they also, for instance, when they asked us to draw a, a vase, for instance, like, you know, they criticized us for drawing it on the edge. And they, they said that it should be some here, here, so it will not fall down. All of these things were kind of models we were asked to adopt and that's actually social learning without which we will not be able to preserve cultures and to and to build and to continue building and to to reinforce the, the, the already existing existing systems. Uh, on the other side like you know the other theory which is more concerned with the development of the thought by the individual him or herself like you know that that, that kind of uh, desire to know the world by by yourself like, you know and here we are actually confront confronted with, uh, with 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 social norms like you know uh, just to give an example, for instance, when I was a teenager, I didn't accept like the the norms of my society. For instance, saying that uh, uh, Hindus people like you know they, they worship cows, like you know, which was kind of some criticism. Even though I I wanted to know more about them, like you know, so I was defying the, the social norms. I didn't want to accept it easily. I wanted to know more about them, and that's why I. I didn't follow the instruction of, of the teacher of mathematics and I was reading novel. Th th that was kind of resistance, like, you know, that I was, I was trying to know the, the world by myself. And th that's actually the, 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 maybe it's just an example to explain how the cognitive development works. Just today, I, I asked like you know my nephew to draw uh, some pictures after explaining some to him the concept of perspective, for instance. Like you know, I didn't try to mention that I favor or I don't favor. I just explained the the, the, the content, uh, the the concept, and he himself like you know tried 
like you know to to adapt to this kind of concept and after he finished it he said no the car should not be like this as long as we look from this like you know looking point it should appear differently this means that he is too much involved in the, the social learning process like you know that he he wants his uh, his 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 picture to adopt the, those norms on the other hand like you know this is a picture was what was painted by my mother like you know who never went to school like you know she she doesn't care about dimensions like you know she doesn't put much efforts to show that like you know this is the depth you know like you know she's she's drawing simply and this for me it explains that very evidently that she has never been to school and this is another example like you know you how these two cows like you know that she, she's not concerned with perspective how we look at things i will not criticize like you know her for that because i, I would say that art is more like this art is kind of a challenge to reality for instance, like, you know, if I can just give an example about Da Vinci, even though he was asked to follow the, the instructions of and the norms of the of the church, but like now if just I mention the the uh, the Da Vinci code, which was written by by Dan Dan Brown, I guess, like you know, who who talks about other other signs and anti-religious concepts in his uh, painting, which is his, his widely known painting, the, the Last Supper. Another example, like you know, is is Picasso, like you know, in his uh, masterpiece, like you know, I don't know how it's pronounced, Gorinka, maybe. Like you know, he's drawing. Picasso is drawing the same way when when we were kids. Like you know, this means that he he doesn't follow, I would say, the instructions of his teachers. Like, you know, he is not concerned with dimensions and perspective. Like, you know, he is, he is this, this, like, you know, bull or this cow, I don't know, is, looks like the same that my mother has, has painted. Like, you know, he's not following the concept, concepts of perspective from where we are looking at it. He just, you know, there are, there are much more meanings, like, you know, than the one which are reinforced by by the society if i just talk about uh, theories like you know uh, i have i have recently read an article which is entitled socio cognitive conflict and and structure of individual and collective performances in which the authors like you know they they i, I would say that they favor the social learning theory and they they state clearly that collective cognitive performances are superior to those of the, the individual. This is something that I don't agree with fully because there are always like, you know, strategies, different strategies that are preferred by different people. I would say that there are people who learn more, like, you know, by, by adopting uh, social norms and there are others like me for instance who learn more by like you know depending on themselves rather than I, I always criticize like you know I have kind of uh, a critical vision that I cannot accept uh, the, the social norms easily you know and this is a, an attitude that I had like you know developed a lo long time ago and this is somehow uh, hampers my interaction with my this is a strategy which I don't prefer and even if I follow I will not I will not come up to the same results like you know because I have another strategy say but in in the, this article which I I have recently read like you know it's uh, it actually says that people even like it's more concerned with interaction, how progress, how, how can we achieve progress and how subjects learn from each other and uh, whether less advanced learners or whether more advanced learners can learn from less advanced learners and those kind of topics. But my 
I have, of course, like, you know, kind of a critical view in regard to this article because all of these norms, like, you know, they are, they are derived from our culture, our current culture, our current civilization, because of progress. We don't have, like, I don't agree with, with the concept of of a progress because in this article which I have already mentioned its title for instance the, the criteria for for progress is is copying a model like you know the subjects were asked to copy like they were presented with a a model of a village and they were asked to rebuild it from another like you know perspective like you know the, the, the table was placed at a different place and they were asked to copy the same copy so success or progress was like you know the, the, the most successful ones were those who copied the model you know but uh, uh, this is this is one of the things that I don't agree with uh, and this might be enough and thank you very much